The Attorney General of the United States, Jeff uh, Sessions, will testify in public before the Senate Intelligence Committee tomorrow. He was scheduled to appear at the Judiciary Committee for a routine oversight hearing, but changed his mind. Brett Baer is anchor of Special Report. We understand, Brett, uh, that the Attorney General himself decided to make this an open session in front of the Intelligence Committee. Uh, what is the advantage to him in doing so? Well, there's not the cloak and dagger, you know, questions about what he says behind closed doors, uh, and it is all out in the open. It is what Democrats wanted, but it's obviously what this attorney general wanted as well. Remember the controversy swirling around Attorney General Sessions, and that is that he did not disclose uh, some meetings with the Russian ambassador, Sergei Kislyak, uh, in his hearing for confirmation. Um, the form the Justice Department says did not require, and they in fact were instructed not to list all the times he met as a senator with the ambassador. That, those kinds of meetings happen all the time. But we're hearing that there may be another meeting that was not disclosed, and obviously we'll get to the bottom of that. Uh, Jim Comey in the testimony uh, just the other day alluded to the fact that he knew ahead of time that Sessions would have to recuse himself in this investigation, saying we were aware of facts that I can't disclose an open setting that would make the continued engagement in a Russia-related investigation problematic. Speaking of sessions, he didn't talk about that in the open session, but likely talked about it in the closed session. Now, John, this is a big deal, and it'll be testimony at 2.30 in the afternoon that you'll see right here on Fox News Channel that will add to, uh, you know, all of the give and take on this subject. And the question is, you know, what will Sessions be pinned down on, and what exactly will he say? Is appearing in front of many of his, well, you know, former colleagues there in the Senate. Obviously, Chuck Schumer really wanted this to be an open session, um, but so did the Attorney General himself. So... So which side wins the day here? I think we'll see after the testimony yeah. uh, who, who is, uh, comes out on top as far as this goes. I think Sessions has said that he has nothing to hide, that he wants to get it all out in the open. Obviously, it's dangerous waters when you start talking about an investigation with a special counsel and all of the things that have been said already, um, and Sessions will sit down. The other thing I think is interesting is if you think about attorney, just attorneys general, you have Loretta Lynch, who is now in the spotlight about her uh, instructions about how to characterize the Clinton email investigation. You have the previous Attorney General, Eric Holder, who was censured by the U.S. House of Representatives for Fast and Furious, and just recently some new Fast and Furious uh, investigation details came out, said that the Justice Department under Holder was lying to the Brian Terry family. This is not a great succession of attorneys general. We'll see if Sessions uh, kind of lays it out straight about his his interactions with the Russian ambassador uh, tomorrow. And fascinating that uh, James Comey, when he testified last week, said that part of the reason he released his notes of his conversations with the president to that friend of his, who then released them to the media, is because he thought that would propel the appointment of a special counsel. And that's become the focus of the president's, um, um, you know, focus as far as his tweets, as far as when he talks about it, is that leaking. And uh, I think it's the administration is suggesting that Comey leaking that uh, raises questions about what else was leaked. I think there'll be, that's not the last we'll hear of that. Over the weekend, John, I thought the most interesting segment really was Senator Lindsey Graham, who again was kind of speaking to the television to President Trump directly, saying, uh, don't go under oath because you could trip yourself up. Uh, and saying that if you didn't say anything, you would be in a better position uh, because there's not a lot of facts here that back up the folks that are opposed to you. That was Lindsey Graham on Face the Nation. And we'll see where this goes. Yeah. Tomorrow's a big day. Let me just read real quickly one of the president's tweets over the weekend. He says, I believe the James Comey leaks will be far more prevalent than anyone ever thought possible. Totally illegal, very cowardly. Uh, so, yeah, obviously lots of shoes left to drop in this whole thing. Brett Baer, thanks for spending some time with us this morning. Thanks, Joe. See you tonight.